what's going on, Memoir? I said, I guess we pack everything then. We're changing plans instead of cleaning up. We're just gonna throw out the trash that we have right now. We're in the middle of pack up <laughs> and go. So today is travel day, and we are getting ready to hit the road. But first, we're going to do some breakfast. Coffee, but I'm spilling it all over the place. Oh no! I overfilled this thingy. We have about three and a half hours of travel or four hours of travel but that probably is going to multiply to six hours of travel because when you're traveling with a cute little baby um there is a lot of stops to be made and um we're hoping to get to mount rogers by or yeah mount rogers by four five fifths um yeah yeah we're trying to get there before five yeah, so what time is it now? I have no idea what time. It is well, like. Oh, it's ten. nine. It's only nine. No, so it's only nine. nine. So I oh, think, we yeah, we're time. doing a. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens all the time. We overestimate how much time we have and then uh, we have no time. So it's nine. Hopefully, we're on the road by 10. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we get there by four or five which is the plan uh so we'll see you guys next in mount rogers in 10 minutes no we're eating breakfast what's going on babes i burn myself all right here we go Smells good though. Thanks. Didn't they say, I mean, how many cups now? Ah, uh, but this is like an es that's espresso, so that cup is very strong. Oh, I thought we bought the one that made like nine cups. Yeah, that makes nine cups. Nine cups of yeah, espresso. But, yeah. Oh man. You know, like the Cuban coffee? Yeah. Yeah. That's super strong. I, I know. We're mixing together, right? What's up, everybody? Okay, so um, this morning we woke up and we were settled that we we're gonna go ahead and fix the house. We're gonna go ahead and clean out the inside of the truck and we're gonna go ahead and, you know, kind of level it out because our trailer looks a little bit off. It's not leveled. And uh, we went to town, we did some shopping that we needed to do some shopping. And uh, when we come, when we return, the host of the campground says that there's no more water in the pumps. That something's broken in the pumps. And we're like, hmm. And then he said that he called another campsite and that they have a spot for us over there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the other campsite, which is about an hour away from here. And um, I don't know what time it is right now. But hopefully we get there before it gets dark. So we got to pack up and go right now. So what happened was that um, we're, we're, we're just cleaning up and um, the host of this campsite tells me that the water, the water pump situation is uh, they have a problem with it. So they're not going to have any water here and they're not planning on fixing it because Thanksgiving is it. They close. Okay. So um, no, but everything is getting canceled for this campsite. So he had called another campsite. And in that other campsite, they're going to let us stay in a host camp, uh, camp spot, which means that it has sewage, everything. It has oh. everything. So it's not like uh, just water and electric. It has oh, all of the amenities. Nice. Yeah. So right now, we're changing plans. Instead of cleaning up, we're just going to throw out the trash that we have right now. We're in the middle of. <laughs> pack up and go. All right. So that's what we're going to do right now. So pack up pack and go. Up. And as soon as we get there... I'm gonna make some steak. Ooh, yum. And some rice. I'm hungry. And uh, yeah, me too. And I'm gonna make some macaroni salad. 
Psych, I already bought it. Uh -huh. I want to make some potato salad. Psych, I already bought it. 90s COVID. 90s style. <laughs> so here, here is our new campsite that we're going to go to. And the campus is there. And they're probably going to give us this guy over here. Number 36. Let's hope. Because 36 has all the hookups. Oof. So we got to get there. There's nobody else going. There's really nobody camping because nobody's crazy like we are. <laughs> But we are going to go here. Yay. So I guess we only literally slept here one night. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So let's get going. Um, uh. <laughs> You're too cute. As soon as I turn it on, he's like... <laughs> yeah, he knows. Huh? He knows. You're coming already, huh? He knows. You're coming already. Remember, is the house ready for voyage? Yeah, just uh, let me put some stuff down in the bathroom and okay. we're ready. Nico was drinking some water, that's why. Okay, cool. Do we um, bring some snackies? Oh, okay. I'm gonna bring the apples. Cool. How about some grape rulos? Okay. Should I bring my the bag? How much bag? The um, bag with the... So we can put some food in? It's just 40 minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all journey we are going to have to move to a campsite 40 minutes away but really it's an upgrade because um it's full hookup so here we only have water and electric over there we're gonna have sewer water and electric so we're not too upset about the move hi my amor we're actually pretty excited about it and we might have internet now that we need internet now that we seek out um outings hoping for internet but it makes our lives a lot easier just to um be aware of what the weather is and stuff like that so we're going to be a little bit further away from um, from the bike trails that we wanted to do but i think we're going to be a little bit closer to civilization so that's not a bad thing um we'll see you soon <laughs> How you doing, young man? Y'all coming up from uh, Raccoon Branch? Yep. Alright. Do I follow you? Turn around and follow me. I got it. I like these campsites. Mira, they're like secluded, hardcore. I like that we have internet signal. Way better. My justification for that. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's pretty really awesome. But we I, think can buy it. I was gonna say we can bike it here. Kentucky we arrived Ooh. yesterday and it's pretty cold today we were hoping to bike a lot we came to London Kentucky the bison capital of the world according to their slogan um, but it's really cold today we were not expecting it to be so cold and it's going to be even colder at uh, the temperature is going to drop down to the 20s so we had to grab some items like the um not freeze hose uh, we got it on sale with this uh, good sam membership so i'm waiting for the trailer to warm up a little bit more before i take quaka's coat off 
Um, so today uh, we're just doing chores. So we're just accommodating for the colder weather. Um, we want to do some shopping. I am going to do some laundry. We're gonna just do some cooking, some editing, and that's going to be today. Hopefully tomorrow, poof, were those sparks? <laughs> what was that, Maka? Hopefully tomorrow is a nicer day. It also has been raining a lot, so we just um, have stayed indoors for most of the time. So hopefully tomorrow is a better um, day. It's supposed to be partially cloudy but no rain but it has been raining the whole time um <clears throat> so we are staying indoors for most of the time um so today we're just going to work on the rv our editing stuff and just um get stuff around the house done plan more of the route <laughs> who's that cutie cutie who's that cutie cutie and just um a chill day since the weather is not cooperating uh, with us and uh, hopefully we don't <laughs> suffer too much tonight uh, when the temperature drops or the whole week um, but mainly tonight Brrr. it's pretty cold right now and it looks like it's gonna get colder throughout the night um, and what do we have here we have our water hose right and our water hose is very thin and it's going to freeze it's definitely going to freeze no matter how we look at it so we went ahead and we purchased a uh, uh, anti-freeze hose what does it do well it has a little um electrical plug in it where we can hook up to the thing there and um, it'll keep the hose warm um, so that way it does not freeze the water so we can use the water at any time of the day so that's what I'm about to show you guys right now so according to the guy that we bought this from over at Camp World he said that we should at least leave the hose outside and not connect it for about an hour um, so it's currently 36 degrees right now so it's not freezing but we're gonna leave it off for an hour, like he said. So, current time on deck is whatever it is, and then an hour later, we'll see what happens. There's not much to it. Masi's doing something in the car, in the trailer right now. But we're gonna leave this out for an hour, just like this, right out here. I don't know what these guys are for, but they're here for a reason. Also, I have to make sure that they don't fit.
Rain again. Rain on Monday. Rain on Tuesday. Rain on Saturday. Rain on Sunday. Rain. 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 You know, I think we can rock this until it gets to the full and then we can empty it out. So I think we can survive here today. This is what we do when it's a rainy day. We're stuck at home. Nico and Huaca are sizing each other. Mm -hmm. let's, make, let's give them some light. Nico, what are you contemplating? My taxes. People do think we're crazy. Hey, you're crazy. I know, so. I found your thing, bro. Hi guys, so today is our last day or well, full day in London. We leave London, Kentucky. Uh, we leave tomorrow. Today has been the only sunny day we had uh, during our stay here. Every day it rained and, um, and today is really cold. Um, so we were going to bike uh, since London, Kentucky is uh, nicknamed the capital of cycling. Um, but we were able to do zero cycling since... Hi, Nick. <laughs> Hi, my amor. You want to be on it? Huh? You want to be on it? Little eye there. Um, but we were not able to do any cycling since it was raining or super cold. Like in the low 20s. Something we were not expected or prepared for. Um, yesterday we ran, no, not even yesterday, on Monday or Sunday actually, we ran out of gas. We had to go get gas for the heaters and we ran out of gas uh, like in the middle of the night. So everything was closed and we had to stay at a hotel because with the baby we cannot be, staying here was not an option. Um, so with the baby we had to go to a hotel and stay there for the night and then get gas in the morning time. So now we know that if it's really, really cold, we have to fill up the tank gas way before um, the day just to make sure that we have a full tank of gas. So that does not happen again. I'm very excited on our next stop just because it's going to be a lot warmer uh, than it has been here. We were, we have like, we have jackets. We didn't even bring coats because we thought that's going to be useless. We don't, we're not going to need coats. Sunday night was crazy um just because we were out of propane having to find a, a hotel room last minute good thing that we we're in london kentucky so there is often availability i can only imagine um and yeah so that's what we did sunday night in order to bear the call on monday we woke up uh, a little later because we went to sleep um a lot we had a lot going on that sunday so we uh, took advantage of being in a bigger room with a lot more space and uh, showers that we could just take a long long shower so we took a long long shower on monday we went to get some uh, propane in order to heat our trailer it was 41 degrees in here so clearly not suitable for anyone staying here we took the kitty we took the baby nico are you just chilling in the bathroom <laughs> What are you gonna order? Ooh, I'm gonna start off with some chicken. Ooh, 
So guys, we are in Kentucky and of course we had to try out Kentucky Fried Chicken! This, there is the, where everything started, right yeah. there is the location. The location. Uh, what was the thing that you told me about uh, he used to He used to own a basketball team. Who? Cool. The guy? Uh, the guy, yeah. The, the Colonel Sanders guys, I think. I gotta double check that fact. But yeah, he used to own a team. And um, there were a whole, it's, it was in the ABA, the American Basketball Association. Okay. And um, the reason why they, he doesn't have a team anymore was because the NBA wanted to purchase the other teams. And I think they only wanted to go with six teams or four teams, I can't remember, but there were seven teams that were left in the ABA. Long story short, he decided to take the money and run and he opened up KFC. Paid off for him. Paid off for him. Hardcore. We can read the legend right there. Yeah. Let's, go, let's go see. Let's go fact check that data. I just left without what's going on, man. So um, we are now having to go back home because I stupidly left my wallet. And I have no wallet. I have no wallet. They should ask snacks about this. See? Thank like, you. like bubble gum shrimp. Ooh. Ah, look how nice. Mm. I ate her all the time. She gave me a little lecture that I shall never forget. She said, what on earth are you ever going to amount to? You're my oldest son. The oldest of the three children. I mean, you've got no father. I've got nobody to help me depend on but you. And to think that you're so no count that you couldn't hold a job at $2 a month. Well, the time she got through tongue lashing me, I felt just about as low as anybody could have ever felt. And I made a resolve then that I would never let hours or work or anything else ever interfere with me doing the best job possible. And if I ever got another job, I was sure going to see, prove to her that I was worthy of it. That's a lot of pressure to put on a child. Okay. Food, fast food place. <laughs> that looks good actually, and I'm not a fan of KFC. <laughs> Alright, let's eat some Have the corn, more. the claws tub, the mac and the cheese, the two peas, the biscuit, the potatoes, mm -hmm. and the baby, <laughs> and the hubby. <laughs> Ah. Let's do a taste test. Taste test. I mean, I'm sure it tastes like any other KFC. That's what you think. I think it tastes better. I mean, yeah. KFC. In forever. Yeah. So I wouldn't know what, what to expect. Usually, I put like ketchup or mayo and stuff. Take off the bones. See how easy that is? And then just come on over. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Does it taste like fast food or better? I mean, it has a KFC taste. You huh? know you're eating KFC. Hmm. Yeah. But like the way it was meant to be. Yeah. All right. It tastes delicious. Okay. <laughs> you should give it a shot. 
I will. Go. Alright, so now it's my turn. I got mm -hmm. the dark. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It's pretty good. Right? Mm -hmm. It tastes like you imagine they would taste like, right? Yeah, it tastes like they the same, but like better. Better, yeah. It's not too I don't know. Mainstream fast foodish. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I like it. 